It was rough, and not to mention, like, I was shaking, I was shivering. Hi guys, I was actually not planning on starting the vlog right now, but I figured, you know what, let's keep it real. It is currently 10.35 in the morning, I'm still in my pajamas, I've been trying to build up the strength and courage and bravery to go for a run for the past, like, two hours, seriously, like I've been putting this off so much. I slept 11 hours last night. Somehow I'm still tired, um, but that is really what life has looked like lately for me. As you guys know by now, I am pregnant. As of right now, I am 13 weeks, one day pregnant. None of my videos have gone live as I'm filming this though. So like the announcement isn't out there, which is like, I don't know why I'm like nervous to make it. Not that I'm nervous, it's almost like I like just keeping this to myself for now. There's something, I don't know, like I just, I uh, does that make any sense to anyone? Like, I'm so excited to tell people obviously, but I kind of just like having it be like my own little happy secret, obviously with Zach and all of our family and friends, but whew, I'm like out of breath just from talking for one minute. That's another thing with pregnancy. I just feel like I'm out of breath a lot. I mean, I'm so out of shape. I took a month and a half off from the gym, which i mean like i was about to say don't recommend but like there was no like there was no other choice there's no option like I, I could not go to the gym with how bad my nausea was in the first trimester so weird i'm in the second trimester now by the way like what the heck but anyway hello this is me building the strength we are gonna go for a run and by the way it's gonna be like a three minute run i'm not kidding i'm still really building up my stamina but that is something i'm determined to do because i've heard that if you continue working out throughout your pregnancy, it really makes not only labor easier, possibly everyone's different, but also recovery. So that is the goal. I'm also very excited. I just got a Lulu's shipment in the mail. I have no idea what any of this stuff is, but I am so excited to try this stuff on. It will be my reward after I'm done working out. Oh my gosh, also, okay, ready guys? I was recently going through old, um, old pieces of clothing. These are two shirts I got from Urban Outfitters last year. They are a size medium to large. Can we see that? I mean, I feel like you can't even, let, let me like show you in the mirror. Like how? How is this a shirt? I understand like it's stretchy, but like no. Nah, -uh. this could fit Asher. I could put this on you. I love how this is what he does. Every time he wants something, he just, he's like, yes, if I go down, they will give me what I want. I had every intention of doing my makeup today, doing my hair, looking nice, but it just was not in the cards. Zach actually told me I've had one too many and no makeup days in a row. Like I really got to <laughs> That was not said in any way, shape or form to be interpreted. Yeah, I, to clarify, I feel like sometimes people don't understand when I'm like flat out kidding. Zach obviously did not say that, but we are right now taking a family road trip to the park. We're gonna pick up salads. Like this is like literally my idea of like just the perfect activity. Like the perfect activity to me and it's no longer going out past like 5 p.m. Oh, just like sitting outside. I know it looks like it's freezing outside. It's actually like in the 60s, it's gonna reach 70, but I sometimes get cold when I eat and I just, I'm not taking any chances. So got the puffer on, I'm very excited. Zach and I are though having a little bit of um, tension, shall we say, due to a, a fundamental disagreement in this pregnancy. You know what I'm talking about? No, and I didn't know you were telling people you were pregnant, so oh. I didn't know it was like topic of conversation, so. <laughs> you didn't know it was on the table. <laughs> yeah, guess the cat's out of the bag. But the gender, Zach, <laughs> tell them about your desires. Yeah, I mean, we've had the information for over a week, so yeah, it'd be nice to know the gender of my baby. That's pretty standard. <laughs> <laughs> and we are gonna find out the gender, do not worry. I knew from the day I met Zach, I mean, maybe not the day, but like, from the very beginning he hates surprises he doesn't like to wait we are going to be finding out the gender of our future child if we are lucky enough to get pregnant that has always been known and i get it but i happen to love surprises and like i just don't want to find out i just love like the unknown not to mention like i mean because my mom keeps bugging me too like what are you gonna find out when 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 it's literally either a boy or a girl like it's not that crazy you know what i mean like it's not like it's not like it's that mind blowing. It's just boy or girl, and either way, I, I don't think we really have a preference at all. No, but it's the biggest surprise we could ever figure out. So 
Yeah. You're acting like it's not a surprise. It is. You want to crack the code? It is, but like, I just love the. I, okay, you know what about surprises? I love like the anticipation. I don't. I don't want to just find out just yet. So I don't know, but I think he's gonna pressure me into doing it soon. I haven't. I've not pressured you, but. Jack, you tried like, to break into my phone. <laughs> Not, jokingly, honestly, jokingly. Not honestly, but I've not pressured you, and I've just politely <laughs> said, figure out a plan multiple times. I really wanted to do like something really fun where we like bite into a cupcake and it's pink or blue frosting. But do I really want to waste like a hundred dollars? Because like if you do like cupcakes, you know it's gonna you have to do like at least a dozen. Do I really want to waste all that money? I just I don't know. Either way, Zach, we're gonna find out. It's gonna be great, and we're so just you happy. Have until Thursday. back from the park I feel like I actually didn't get a lot of footage because I was just so focused on like Asher duty and making sure he was being a good dog citizen to the other dogs but I am very excited because my hungry root came in it actually came in earlier this morning you guys know I am hooked on hungry root it is a meal delivery service slash online grocery store it's I, I had never seen anything like this. It's literally combined into one. I am so excited I get to work with them on this video. And I've also just been so excited hearing about so many of you guys who have been doing this as well. This has seriously changed Zach and I's like routines. We never used to eat dinner together, which I know a lot of people thought was crazy, but it's just never been so easy. It's never been so affordable to have like these great home cooked meals and it's never been so quick. Like I'm just not the type of person who you're gonna see in the kitchen for like an hour every night. All the recipes I've made cook in like 10 minutes or less. Like it varies when you pick out your recipes each week, you'll see the exact amount of time it takes. So you can choose only ones that take five minutes to make or 10, 15, pretty sure it's like not more Definitely no more than 20 minutes, which I just, I love. So let us see what is in store for this week. I'm really excited about these. Obviously there are quite a few meal delivery service companies out there. I've tried a couple of them, but what sets Hungry Root apart is that it's not just a meal delivery service. So for example, I am getting full size groceries. Like one of my meals this week, I ordered these burgers, just like a double serving for Zach and me, but they don't just give you like two buns. They actually give you like the full thing where you can mix and match and make more meals later on this week. Even like the dressing, it's not just like a little packet of dressing for just one meal. It's like a whole container that we end up reusing and then just throwing together other meals throughout the week. I also love, and I know a lot of people love this, you can go in and customize exactly what you want and what you don't. So my Hungry Root, like the page and what it all looks like for me is gonna be different than what it looks like for you. In the very beginning, you take a short quiz, just talking about, first of all, what are your tastes? Like, do you like Mexican? Do you like Italian? What don't you like? Like maybe you're not a meat eater. Maybe you are vegetarian or vegan. For me, they have dairy-free. That is huge. It's so nice that the only meals that I see, the only ones that are recommended to me are meals I can eat. I also know they do have gluten-free, which is huge. And then each week or however often you want Hungry Root, they will recommend you however many meals a week you might want, whether it's three, four, five, six, however many. And you can choose to accept those meals. There have been weeks I just totally go off what Hungry Root um, suggests just because they actually know me by now with how many times I've eaten it. Or you could just X out of each and every one of them and just go in and choose your own meals. Like it's very user-friendly and flexible and I love that. So this week, where's my phone? Because they have the recipes on your phone. I know I did, <laughs> I love them. I did a couple of stir fries. I just love the stir fries. I also did a protein bowl, burgers, pasta, a rotini that I'm so excited about, but the stir fry is calling my name tonight. They just, they're so good. I've never, I've tried to make stir fries on my own at home. It never tastes like, you know, at a restaurant or anything close to that. I don't know, with whatever whatever these ingredients are, and by the way, it's like so fresh and like natural, like all of the meals are healthy. Um, I'm just, I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. You know the rules. Come on. We always have to do that. Oh my gosh. That literally tastes like at, um, what's that Asian place? No, it's this, what is this, Asian sesame? Yeah. 
Yeah, it tastes really good. Oh my gosh, guys, seriously, like I am telling you, if you have not tried Hungry Root, oh my gosh, and the best part, I do have a deal for you, a little code. The first 100 people who use the code CLANCY40, I will have a link below, will get 40% off your first order, which is insane because one of the great parts about Hungry Root is I feel like it's very, fairly priced to begin with. Like you're getting a lot of bang for your buck, especially because it is full-size groceries. So take advantage of that offer, guys. Like. We have not had a bad meal yet. I feel like we just love them. You were on a hunger tear where you were the one cooking for us for like a full week. Yeah, no, I mean, it's easy, tastes good. We like healthy food, which we always get healthy stuff. But sometimes when you like try to cook like new healthy recipes, it takes like a long time. And this does not, yes. it's like the simplicity of it makes it easy. And not to mention it tastes good. Cause if it didn't taste good, it wouldn't be worth it. Just finished a workout, which, oh my gosh, like those are words I have not muttered a lot within the past almost two months, but it feels so good to get back in the swing of things. Like it's insane. I feel like I'm in a different body. It has nothing to do with being pregnant and everything to do with just literally losing, well, at least I think just losing all of my endurance that I had built up over years. I've never taken such a long hiatus, not just from the gym, but from like movement. Like I would just take Asher on these very short walks and that was it during that um that dark dark period of no exercise but i mean like more than you know any physical aspect just mentally going to the gym like sweating it feels so good i do have to say i have not gone to burn boot camp on a cardio day yet i've only done strength because cardio kind of freaks me out they have modifications for you and today i have to do certain modifications like you can't like i'm not i'm not trying to be on my stomach right now i just don't feel good in that area i actually like feel tightness and like minor pain i don't i don't even know if that's normal but i do so i am staying off my stomach and then on your back you have to be like elevated but yeah i am like terrified for a cardio day i'm obviously gonna take it so easy not here to impress anyone and like i physically like i physically have to take it easy because i mean just in our warm-up guys like we were just hopping around a little bit i was out of breath like it's insane, but it feels so freaking good to be back at it. On a separate note, my podcast with KV went live this morning. If you guys know, you know, we started a podcast a couple of weeks ago and we have been loving it so much. Like it is just, I, oh my gosh. Like I, I didn't know how it would go. I didn't know if I'd be like, is this weird? Like it's just, it flows so naturally. It's so much fun to actually do. It's fun for me to edit. We've kind of like divided up our jobs just naturally based on, our interests and our like skills so I edit all of our podcasts and like I edit the clips you'll see on Instagram be sure to follow us for all the behind the scenes especially like sometimes we'll refer to something in the podcast and I'll post it on our Instagram stories there so check that out but um but yeah so I do that and then she does all of like the aesthetic stuff on social media like I'm still on our social media pages responding to you guys talking commenting but if there's anything aesthetic you see on our page it's her she created it. She is the aesthetic one. But yeah, I will have it linked below. It's just called Off the Record with Clancy and Gaby. I am loving it. And I'm just loving also like talking to you guys in a different way. It just feels so much more intimate in a podcast setting. I just feel like with like obviously so you guys can watch it. It's on Spotify. A lot of people are requesting for it to be on YouTube, but you could just go onto Spotify for now and watch the video. But I feel like the reason podcasts can sometimes be so much more like, I don't know if meaningful is the word, but like the actual content is so much better than YouTube because you're not focused on like, I got to get this shot and that. And like, it's just the, like the meat and potatoes. It's just the, the content. Like really the content is king as opposed to like, I have to make it look good. It has to be this lighting, this artsiness, whatever. I love how I'm saying artsiness. I'm sitting in a car. It's like the rainiest, grayest day ever. But, um, but yeah, no, I am very happy and new episodes come out every Tuesday morning. I'm trying to have it released like overnight at like 1 a.m., but for whatever reason, it did not release overnight. So I just uploaded it at five o'clock when I woke up this morning. Oh my gosh, I just got my maternity, maternity or pregnancy announcement pictures back, which you guys would have already seen some of them on Instagram. But the behind the scenes of that, it was freezing. It was like 40 degrees, but not only that, the windiest day ever, I have no idea how we got any photos that looked normal because my hair was everywhere. My dress was everywhere. It was rough. And not to mention like I was shaking, I was shivering. When we got home that night, I just could not warm up. And that's something that happens to me. If I get too cold for too long, it takes a long time for my body to warm back up. And it's just, oh my gosh. But yeah, they came out so good. I can't believe it. And I'm so happy. So I guess it's like, what is it, cherry blossom season where I think it's like for a few weeks, these beautiful cherry blossoms bloom. 
and we are so lucky because obviously there are no like you know there are no leaves on the trees right now like it's very early for that and i'm happy we stuck it out with the outdoor shoot i always saw myself like i love the outdoor pregnancy announcement shoots as opposed to like an indoor studio i just like love the natural light but anyway i've got the clothes behind me it is time to try them on one thing about asher is he loves having two toys at once like he just he can never make up his mind and also do you guys see how big he's getting it's crazy but we're really happy i was like worried for a bit i'm like why is this man not growing i'll put a photo of his brother on the screen though his brother is so much bigger than him they just posted this recently on the facebook page which I feel like Asher is more toward, I don't want to say the front of the litter, I don't know, but he's just definitely not one of the bigger puppies in that litter. All right, I figured we could start off strong with maybe one of the cutest dresses I've ever put on my body. This is literally me in a dress. I love how it fits at the chest. I love how it flares out, but cinches in. And we love a good sleeve. Also, I really like this color. It's like this... I guess lavendery color with like this really pretty print. Oh my gosh. And I sent over two accessories and I feel like these will look super cute with this dress. So first up, we've got some earrings. I am obsessed with chunky gold hoops and I don't have any pairs like this. Like I don't have any double chunks. So let's see what these look like. I'm so bad at putting earrings in without a mirror. Oh my gosh, I can already tell I'm obsessed. I love these and then you guys know I'm definitely a headband girly. I think they're super cute They just like add a little something to an outfit But also they are so practical because sometimes I just can't stand having my hair Just like this like it's like literally like in my face when it's just all like this So it's super cute if you can add a headband. Oh my gosh I love just like a classic white and one thing I actually prefer doing with my headbands You can hear Asher squeaking down below. We got him a squeaky toy, which maybe not the smartest thing I actually like destroy my part and I kind of just go like that. And then it's out of my face. I don't have to worry about it. And it looks super cute, super put together. Okay, I do not own any dresses like this and I'm kind of obsessed. I really just love the silhouette of Lulu's dresses. Like I like how they come in, they go out. Next we have a two piece matching set. This is a skirt and then obviously a top. I'm obsessed with matching sets just because you can mix and match them. So obviously I can wear it like this, super sleek, or I can mix and match various colors, styles, patterns. This is another top they sent over which probably hard to tell but it actually has like a really pretty pattern all over it this top is such a good staple for summer it's just like a very classy date night i love how lightweight it is too like i really do like wearing sleeves during the summer months even when it's super hot as long as it's like a you know a bubble sleeve like this and super lightweight i'm good to go and i always think just off the shoulder is like super super pretty okay this actually low-key might be my favorite piece so far Sounds like I it sound like I just said my favorite pee, my favorite piece so far. I'm obsessed. I just love the sleeves of this. I love how lightweight it is. I like the way it cuts. And then last up, we've got the cutest pair of overalls that obviously I need to like put through the dryer, de-wrinkle, all of that. But oh my goodness, I have never owned like these pastel pink overalls. I only own one other pair of overalls actually and they're from lulu's but i just love this for spring i feel like overalls are so cute so fun they also sent over the cutest bag ever for summer like spring summer i feel like i refer to spring and summer as the same exact season even though they're obviously not but you know what i mean i feel like this is just like super cute for running errands day to day also you guys could see ash has full reign of the clancy couch i had a lot of people being like i knew you were gonna let him up on the couches this is the only one he's allowed on. He's not allowed on the living room couches, but guys, he has not tried to get up. Oh my gosh, my hair. He has not tried to get up on our living room couches once. Like he has no interest. He loves just being on the floor. I mean, I'm on the floor with him so much. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. Like he doesn't even try. What are you doing? I decided on the spring sweater for today because even though it's like way too cold for this type of sweater, like this is definitely more of a spring sweater. I just could not resist, but thank you so much to Lulu's for sending those clothes over. And once again, guys, you guys know the drill. I always hunt to find each piece of clothing and I will link it below if you guys are interested. But I'm about to head out to the library. I have been on a reading hair where I just like I'm obsessed I cannot stop reading it's like my favorite activity in the entire world like I've always enjoyed reading a lot but for reference I read three books in less than a week but one factor is they all happen to be so freaking good first one the last time I lied is a psychological thriller I don't know if it's psychological it's just like a thriller adventure mystery type thing by Riley Sager he is such a good author I'm so excited to read more by him uh, this is such a good book so good next one is called the wife stalker I have to say as I was reading it it was such an easy read like I seriously read this one in a day it just flew by and you always wanted to know what was gonna happen next I thought I was gonna hate it at the end. I was like, where is this going? But no, I actually really loved the ending. And I will say like the characters felt so one-dimensional, I was confused. 
but it all makes sense in the end. So I really love this. Oh, and this is the woman who wrote um, The Last Mrs. Parrish. And actually, it's not the woman. If you look at the back, it's two sisters who write under the name Liv Constantine. And then this one, oh my gosh, buckle up. It is nonfiction. This guy, Vince Granada, writes about what it was like for his brother to kill his mom. His brother had dealt with a lot of mental illness problems, mental health, I don't even know how to word it. I think he has schizophrenia. And he writes about like what led up to that incident, what could have and should have been done to help prevent it. And I think this book is just gonna save so many lives. It was a tough read, but like gripping, absolutely gripping. So I'm about to go to the library and hopefully get three more because <laughs> Two books, like that's just not doing it for me lately. I'll feel like I'll just be back at the library in like two days. Um, oh, and one other thing, where is it? This has been a game changer. You clip it on to the back of the book, like right here. And then as you're reading Asher, you don't need to be involved with everything. As you're reading at night, you can see everything. Because what was happening when I was reading is I was turning on these like overhead lights. The ambiance just wasn't there. Like I want good ambiance when I'm reading, but obviously I need to be able to see. So this thing, it was like, I think it was like less than 10 bucks from Amazon. I can link it below. Such a game changer. I mean, you guys know I am a Kindle gal. I love my Kindle. I just haven't been reading with my Kindle lately because I don't know, like I have just loved having the book. I love the experience of going to the library. I love both, okay? Like when I'm traveling, this is a lot more convenient, but I don't know. I've just been loving the books lately. Trip to the yes. library was a success. At least I hope it's going to be a success. We will see. I feel like going to the library is like going to Home Goods. Sometimes it's just like the best thing ever. Other times you get total duds. So we will see. I didn't really do much research before picking out any of these books. I kind of just went to some authors that I know of. And like that's the thing. Like sometimes there are so many books in stock. Other times there were like none. And today was one of those days where it was slim pickings, but that's what makes it so exciting. But I just did the same formula I did last time where I got two thrillers, like fiction thrillers, and then one true crime. I just felt like that was the best combination ever. So my two fiction ones, I got a Liv Constantine book, which is the author I just read. And then I also, I'm trying out Anna Downs. They have these little postcards at the library for very popular authors like if you like Riley Sager you probably like and then it has like a list of authors like Ruth Ware, Karen Slaughter. This woman was on it as well. I've never read one of her books so I figured I would give it a try and then I'm sure you guys have heard of this case. The Menendez brothers they killed their parents. This was kind of a long time ago at this point. I obviously know the case but I want to like just dive deep into it and also just like see how this happened, why this happened, like what the heck. Like there's a lot I obviously don't know so I'm very interested to read this as well. I don't know, I might read this one first. So lately with food, particularly with like snacks and desserts, it's hard to describe. It's like I'm trying to scratch an itch that cannot be scratched. I have tried everything. Like normal things that you'd think I would love, I just don't. Like Milano cookies and eh. any sweets, like I just don't really care about. But one thing that has been helping is if I bake it myself. I don't know why, but that just makes all the difference. Like if I were to go to the store and buy store-bought cookies, gross but the fact that i baked these oh my gosh they smell so good and i tried them last night we both had two zach were these not like the best cookies you've ever had in your life they were very good cookies <laughs> still not sure you're doing it right oh how it's like zach they turned out fine <laughs> I didn't like my technique because cookies like they're not they, there's no oil in them they're very like um dry i guess you would say like not liquidy but these came out so freaking good and we're going to zach's parents house in a few days so i'm thinking about possibly baking up another batch of these because i think they might they might have been a success the only thing that i have not figured out is brownies like i cannot figure those out for the life of me because obviously i'm doing vegan yeah no just make those knocked them out of the park dear what zach <laughs> You're so sweet. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really just wanted to do this vlog, getting acquainted to new life, obviously. Things are a little bit different. We have a lot of boxes we have to take out, but also like still the same. Like I'm still doing all my same things. So yeah, like, you know, it's not gonna be anything drastically different. I might give like pregnancy updates, obviously in my vlogs with like, if anything crazy is happening, but for the most part, I'm just living my life. And one thing I'm curious, did any of you guys know or suspect that I might be pregnant? Because I didn't give any hints. I don't believe in that for a YouTuber because especially for me, I have had people on YouTube asking me, are you pregnant? Is she pregnant? 
since I was like 13 years old, just like as a rude comment, either like telling me I'm fat, <laughs> like that's essentially what you're saying when you say that, um, which regardless, even if you truly think I'm pregnant, that is just such an inappropriate thing to say to someone because one, what if I am and I'm not ready to tell, like I'm not just gonna comment, yep. Two, what if like I'm, you know, I, I'm having complications, I'm, I'm, you know, not able to get pregnant. It just, it is the worst question to ever ask someone. I am it, like astounded that people, and it's not, I was about to say I'm astounded that people don't realize that. It's like clearly internet trolls, I feel like, let's say it. But sometimes every once in a while, I'm like, this person looks normal based on their like profile picture. So I don't know why you said that. But anyway, that is why I do not give any hints. I don't want to encourage the whole guessing game thing. But if you looked extra closely, I mean, there were a few, a few weird things like my cereal obsession that came out of nowhere, which, oh my gosh, guys, in our pantry, like this is so embarrassing. I have, first of all, our pantry is an absolute mess. I need to reorganize this. I have like every type of cereal because I would just go to the store and get a new craving. It wasn't even a craving. It was just literally just trying to find anything that can make me feel okay. So we've got Cocoa Krispies, we've got Special K, I got Raisin Bran, Cheerios was hitting for a bit, Kashi cereal. Anyway, I'm going to have that link for Hungry Root below. Once again, you guys can get 40% off your first order if you use the code CLANCY40, which is such a good deal. I will have that link below and we cannot recommend it enough. Meanwhile, Asher, we don't even have to play with him. He just plays with himself, which is kind of great. But anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.